up, Aquarius? This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is Aquarius sun, moon, rising sign, or whatever Aquarius energy influences your natal chart. Because this is Aquarius energy for the next seven days. You can apply this to wherever Aquarius influences your chart. So we're going to do a full tarot, uh, oracle card spread here. And then over on the extended, we're going to do a full tarot card reading that extends and articulates this oracle card reading as well as the romantic tarot for the next seven days. So let's get into this. Let's boogie on in. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising for the next seven days. Aquarius energy messages for Aquarius. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. Aquarius energies. Remember, guys, if it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. Time for a beginner mind. I love this energy for you. That's actually a great energy for you. Because I think it is time. I think this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. This is the dawning of a deeper understand, a higher, a bigger, a larger, a broader understanding. A kind of understanding that goes outside of oneself. But at the same time, Aquarius, this is that kind of higher thought becoming your own armor and your own shield. Something that you're using to defend yourself. Uh, maybe against the rest of the world, a world that you don't fit in with. Or a bunch of people that you have now kind of feel like, hmm... They don't really get you. They don't really know, understand me. Uh, maybe maybe I was a little too psyched about some situation and I shouldn't have been that psyched about it. But this is your um, this is your crowning energy. The energy of walking into a room defensive. But your defensiveness being those thoughts, being the way that you think, your strategies, the fact that you can knife somebody with your intellect type of sharp wit and humor. And you walk with it on the outside of you. People should have no doubt that when you walk into the room, you're going to walk in with your knives out. And knives not being literal knives, knives actually being your thoughts. See, he's prickly. He's prickly. It's almost like you're prickly and you're bristly and you're, it's, it's not like you're pretending. This is sincerely a part of you and a part that you can call on to defend you anytime that you need it. So yes, this crowning energy for this week, Aquarius, is you being comfortable with your defensiveness and aggressive with your defensiveness and using your wit, your humor, your intellect as a defense as you walk into the room and you will spike somebody, you will shoot off one of your um, one of your needles at anybody that needs it. You are making no qualms about exactly who you are, exactly what you think, exactly what you feel, exactly how you talk. You're not being nice this week. You're not, over the next seven days, you're not you're not mincing words with people. Um, you're letting them have it. <laughs> That's kind of what, what's coming out here. Interesting. <sighs> Magic works through you. This is a good time for you. This is a dawning. This is a something. Something's coming to light. Something's manifesting, and it's and it's manifesting right before your eyes. This is Cancerian energy, but it's that Cancerian energy of the larger sense of self, of actually being able to build stronger, bigger, more beautiful people. And the magic is working through you. So it's almost like you don't uh, wave it in the air. You don't care. That's the kind of energy like, yeah, you, you know who you are. You know what you feel. You're going to say what you need to say and people are going to love you anyway. There's a sense of you knowing how valuable what you need to say is to other people. This is five plus two. It's the energy of seven. It's the energy of creation. You have been working very hard on creating something. I don't feel you being completely and totally comfortable in the rooms that you're entering. And I think that you're using this, this wittiness, this sharp tongueness, your humor, and your, like I said, your words, your cutting words, almost like your sarcasm, you're using it as a way to, to defend yourself and also let people know who they're working with and who they're dealing with. You don't want anybody to take advantage of you. Um, sing your own song. You're very, very secure in yourself this week. This is also being a master of communications. This is Gemini energy, knowing exactly what to say and maybe even doing it musically, being music to somebody's ears, singing your own song, singing your own tune. Um, being an original and creating something that other people want to listen to. Uh, nothing is wasted. Finding uh, an opportunity where other people didn't see it. Um, uh, finding a treasure in a trash heap. Uh, I think this is the feeling of you. This is your energy. This is some, a lot of people underestimated you. A lot of people, um, 
yeah, a lot of people passed you over and treated you like trash, essentially. Uh, they did. They decided to throw you away. And now it, you're very, very proud and you're loving the fact that you could, it's almost like that scene from Pretty Woman when she comes back and says, you work on commission, don't you? Big mistake. Huge. I have to go shopping now. That's your energy. That's your energy this week of you in that scene from Pretty Woman. And if I could attach it above, I will find it and I will attach it above. But that's the energy of you, of you almost going back to the people who tried to put you down and showing them just how much magic you're shaking and making. Uh, reclaim your power. Bada bing, bada boom. Like that's, that's your whole energy is like, not, is, is not, is not, it's, um, it's not only not taking other people's BS. It's not just about that. It's about getting in the face of the people who actually shoved that BS towards your direction. That's where you're at, Aquarius. You're not, it's not even that you're mincing words. You're firing. You're aiming. You're aiming your words at specific people who tried to keep you down, tried to hurt you, tried to make you suffer, tried to judge you, uh, tried to call you out. This is somebody treated you like trash. Somebody treated you like trash. And now you are more than happy to go back and show and demonstrate what a treasure you are. Reclaim that power that they tried to take from you. And this is the central energy for the reading. This is your crowning energy, uh, which is walk in with your armor shiny and spiky and aimed at people and like let them, you're walking in the room letting them know. Like cutting in with your sharp whip, um, sharp wit. And then this is your, this is your centered energy, your central energy, which is you're getting back what people tried to take from you, what people, how people tried to deplete you or diminish you, you're getting back. And it's not about revenge. It's not, it's about confrontation. That's what it is. Believe in yourself. Oh, you do, you do. You know that you've planted seeds. This is Virgo energy. You know that you are reaping the harvest of the seeds that you've planted maybe many, many years ago. This is five plus seven. This is 12, three. More energy of three. You have a lot of energy of three here, which is Holy Trinity, which is basically finding that the balance and the, the balance and the divine center space of that of those two extremes that keep things in balance and you're taking back yourself you're 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 you believe in yourself you have full and complete and total confidence in who you are and that's what you're walking into this room as you're walking into this person the room as this person who knows just how hard you worked and you know how you were the underdog um how people tried to discredit you uh, you know keep working hard you have dreams you you are planting seeds now even though Seeds that you planted are starting to come to fruition. It doesn't matter, Aquarius, because you are planting even more seeds for the future. And and you're like you're almost like you're almost like you know what? Honestly, I I don't think you even care what people think about you anymore. Going back to these people who did this to you, it's not about you caring about what they did, what what they think of you. It's about you caring how they made you feel, how they made you question your sense of self. And in doing so, in sticking up for yourself, you almost like. It's almost like you want to teach them a bigger lesson of why are you going to treat people like that? Do you see how stupid you were? You want them to know how stupid they were. You want to point out the lack of intellect. Improvise. Think on your feet. This is Sagittarius energy. This is be playful because I don't even think you're being spiteful. I do think you're being playful and you're like smacking people with your tail in their face. Like that's that's what you're doing. Um, but this is, you're going to have to improvise a lot this week and you don't mind it. You don't mind. It's, you, there's a great sense of serenity and security that's surrounding you this week, uh, Aquarius. Over the next seven days, there's a sense of, a strong sense of yourself because you're surrounded with fertility and abundance. You know that you're chosen. You know that you're respected. You know, you've already got the deal. You know, you've already got the deal. You've already signed on the dotted line. You already have the abundance and you're going to wave it into people's face. You're not going to hide it. You're not going to be coy about it because you want them to know just how shitty it was that they would treat anybody like that. And you want them to learn a lesson from this and you want to be the lesson that they learn. Ooh. And here we have trust in the magic, this beautiful energy of a new beginning happening. And this is very much your energy. This is, um, a new way of being a new way of thinking, but taking a, taking a big step into a direction, a new direction, a direction that maybe, um, you've always wanted to go in. This is the birth of something beautiful. Let's put it this way. In the middle of winter, 
as we come closer and closer to your season, when everything else seems to have dead, be dead and died, when it seems like there was nothing but trash all around, you pop out with this whole new beginning and whole new chance in life. Trust in the magic and magic works through you. So not only are you surrounded by magic, but you're the conduit for magic. And maybe you're why the magic is in the room to begin with. So Aquarius, keep waving your wand and smack the shit out of people who get in your way. Um, now we have all this other energy, all this other energy. I'm going to take this <clears throat> to try to understand it a little bit better. Um, slow and steady wins the race. This is about believing in yourself and feeling comfortable in your own skin and having thick enough skin to not let people get, get to you. Um, this is be playful. You can be playful and be defensive at the same time, Aquarius. It's because of your wit and, and wisdom. Uh, be generous of spirit. And I think that that's, this is at the heart of the reading. Set, essentially, Aquarius, this is you want to help other people by coming back and bitch slapping those people who decided to put you down. You want to show people the lesson of don't ever treat people like this. You know what, Aquarius? Somebody that's out there is always going to try to like smack down the little guy. Somebody out there is always going to... Um, uh, try to make a fool of somebody that they think they're better than or they think they're bigger than or because they think they can get away with it. But your purpose for coming back in with your bristles showing loud and clear and aiming for those people who took you down, taking back what they tried to steal from you by treating you like trash even though you were a treasure. Aquarius, you want to show other people to keep believing in themselves. You want to show other people, this isn't just about you. You want to show other people, plant those seeds. Keep doing it. Keep working hard. Improvise. It doesn't have to be planned. Believe in who you are. Believe in your intuition. Believe in your instincts. Because people are always going to try to keep you down. You're the one that has to keep yourself up. So this is just not just about rubbing rubbing. Um, your success in somebody's face. This is about using your success as a teachable lesson to help other people be able to like keep up their pride and keep up their spirits. Um, and then we have time to let go of something that's been eating away at your heart. And I think the big part that's been eating away at your heart, Aquarius, is this sense of um, this sense of unfairness, this sense of wrong, this sense of inhumanity. And that's what you're really, that's what you're really defeating. That's what you're, that's, it's really bothers you. It will keep you up at night. The sense that people can be treated so unfairly. And that's really what you're fighting against because you already got the success. You don't need to deal with these people. You don't need to go back into the room and smack them around, but you're going to go do it because you don't want, you are done with people thinking that they could get away with treating other people like that. My dog is tearing apart. And then look at what's coming in for you. Um, maybe a love, a great love that you sense, these senses on the horizon, a love that is hidden, but you know that it's coming. There's a sense of let spirit be your guide. Let spirit be your guide. So this is, you can't see everything. You don't have to. Aquarius, this is very much air energy as well of looking toward the future of, of it, you know, look, yeah, yeah. Being able to look from a high distance, have that aerial perspective. You looking toward the future through the eyes of spirit. So you know that you're humbled in this presence and you don't see everything clearly. But you're going to go ahead and just trust their eyes and the direction that, that it's taking you because it's taking you this far, right? Act as if you, your masks are coming off. Masks are coming off. Skin is being shed. Act as if all your abundance is already here. This is a sense, Aquarius, of um, like of feeling a person in your presence before they actually get into your presence. This is a, a like a foretelling that there's a great romance that's coming into your life. I don't see it happening until mid-year. I really don't. I don't see it happening right now because there's too much going on. I think for you in terms of your um, career, in terms of your um, progress that you're being made professionally, but it could very well be that somehow spirit has divinely intervened and uncovered a great love for you. Uh, maybe somebody that has disguised themselves, somebody that, somebody that didn't want to come out and tell you that they felt the way that they felt a love that perhaps you had to hide and keep under wraps. Um, this is something that, something that you can now let people see so that you can now, uh, do out in the open. Um, this is a sense of, um, you know, 
Uh, hold on. Give me a second with this. Act as if, let spirit be your guide. Act as if your love is already here. It's how you'll let them know where to find you. Hold on while I turn this camera around. There you go. It's a huge reading. And I think you're a lot this week. There's not just a lot going on. You're a lot because you've got a lot to say and you want to take the success that you've experienced and the happiness you've experienced and you want everybody to know about it because you think it's going to make a darn good example of, of sort of an expose on the kind of BS that people get run into, that people get thrown at them all the time. And you're just, you're just, it's really catching you in the stomach. You know, it's like a gut, it's like a, it's like a punch to your groin. It bothers you to no end that there are people who would try to tear other people down. You know, if maybe people who are acting as spirit guides, people who are acting as people who, who know what the, they're doing and they really don't, right? You, you, you're just really tired of people of, of that sense of falsehood and falseness and false direction and misguidance. You know, people who, people who, they don't even have to be involved in the spiritual community. In other words, people who pretend like there's something so wonderful, like they've got people's best interest at heart, like they have this foresight, like they're higher than mighty, and they're just pretending because you see their BS. You see how they really treat people behind the scenes. You've seen it firsthand because they treated you like trash when you really were a treasure and you're about to out them. So let's just see how that goes. I want to see exactly who you're outing and exactly how that's going to go down. We're going to do a full tarot card spread. That link is below as well as your romance tarot. That's going to be real interesting. Okay, I will see you over there Aquarius.